Playoffs, all about adjustments. Yesterday we looked at it from the Clippers' perspective. Today let's look at it from the Suns' perspective. What do they need to adjust going into tonight's pivotal Game 6? First of all, if Dario Saric is going to continue to try to guard DeMarcus Cousins, he must front the post. That means you cannot stand behind DeMarcus Cousins on this catch. He needs to jump totally on the top side of him and just be sitting right in front of him, basically posting Cousins up when you're behind him like this. Too easy to throw the ball in, and Cousins has proven too easy for him to get deep touches and buckets like that against Saric. They actually tried it, ironically, soon thereafter, which, yes, this is more what Saric needs to do. This is a front, okay? What can't happen, though, is campaign's effort is horseshit on the backside. If you're going to come over, which you have to do when Saric does his job and be is in a front, as soon as this ball is leaving Paul George's hands, you need to be right here, and you need to smother this ball with two hands and be in a full trap and be tall, not just jab in there with one hand meekly and allow Cousins to get up a layup. He needs to do his job if Sarge is going to do his. They also probably need to avoid switching Devin Booker on to Marcus Morris. L.A. ran a steady diet of this side pick and roll play just to get this switch where Morris has proven in this series that Booker is not really able to guard him, especially on that left block. Cam Johnson, not much better, to be honest, and they might want to talk, think about fronting him, too, to be honest. This initially looks like it might be a little bit of a front, but he ends up not doing it, jumps behind him. Okay, If you're going to front this, DeAndre Aiden would be the low man coming over to trap and smother and have two on the ball here instead of, again, playing behind and letting Marcus Morris play his post-up mid-range game that he is very effective at. Lastly, they need more just attention to detail, focus. The whole point of switching is to keep a body on a body. You don't need to get into rotations. You don't need to come in and help defense. They switch this. Chris Paul's on Paul George. Bridges is on man. There is no reason whatsoever for Devin Booker to do what he did here. Mikael Bridges is fine. He's right there. He's guarding man. You don't need to come in and help because him coming in and help made Jay Crowder have to play two he guesses wrong, and now Marcus Morris has an open three. Just totally unnecessary. Watch the Suns coaching staff after that, too. They were like, what are we doing? A lot of hand-wringing about how do we get Aiden? Does he need more touches? Yada, yada, yada. The short answer is yes, he does, particularly plays like this. If they're going to switch Reggie Jackson onto him, you need to throw the ball here and then throw him the ball in the post, period. You have to at least do it a few times because if you don't do it and penalize them at least a few times, there's no more drop coverage then. They're going to just keep switching. And if you don't punish the switches, if you instead have Chris Paul dribble back out and then take tough, tough 20-something foot shots against Marcus Morris, then the Clippers win. They're going to keep switching that. They're going to keep having success. If you want to get them out of the switching, again, you have to occasionally exploit this mismatch. DeAndre Aiden against Reggie Jackson in the post is a mismatch. Throw the ball here, demand the ball, throw it in the post, score on his little ass. DeAndre Aiden against Reggie Jackson is a better shot than Chris Paul fadeaways against Marcus Morris. DeAndre Aiden against Luke Kennard, also a better shot than Chris Paul against Marcus Morris. Again, you have to, again, the playoffs are a game of matchups. You have to exploit this. You have to be able to at least do it a couple times. Jay Crowder needs to hold this, look at it longer. If it's thrown here, DeAndre needs to get back in front of Luke Kennard and demand the ball. He played too passive. He sat behind him. He didn't really want the ball badly enough. And now Chris Paul again is taking contested shots against Marcus Morris. They finally <laughs> threw it to him. But Terrence Mann, to be honest, probably one of the best defenders on the Clippers. Against Reggie Jackson, against Kennard, yeah, that's probably when you want to do it more. But this is more what it has to look like, okay? At least, yes, roll Aiden down deep, seal, get a deep post catch. This isn't a terrible shot. This is a better shot, in my opinion, than the last couple we saw from Chris Paul. Aiden needs to go up a little more assertively, goes up a little passive here. And yes, again, Terrence Mann, a better defender than the other couple. But this is the right idea. This is more what we have to see tonight when they switch Reggie Jackson and Kennard on to Aiden if the Suns are going to win this game. whole lot of also 
run your stuff, man zone, run your stuff. And to a lot of people, that seems to mean run our pick and rolls. They did, though. That's the thing. They ran a shit ton of pick and rolls. It just was largely ineffective. Again, I'm not saying you post Aiden against Batum. That's not a huge matchup advantage. But how about running something other than the pick and rolls? I, I hardly saw, I'm not sure they ran once, their elbow set that has Devin Booker on the move, going elbow to elbow and playing a whole bunch of read option stuff out of it. Instead here, you're just running a pick and roll, switch, Devin Booker denied in the strong side corner, throw it back out. I mean, they did nothing here. At least this is a little movement on the back side. Campaign just throws a terrible pass. But how about some movement? How about some motion? Finally, DeAndre Aiden, once again, he's got to be a participant in his own recovery. Okay, so I'm not saying again, this is not the easiest play in the world, but if he's playing with the physicality, the force that Monty Williams that Chris Paul want to see from him, he needs to go get this rebound, period. This is Marcus Morris. Grab it with two hands. Go after it with two hands. Stop tipping the ball. Over Marcus Morris, this should be a DeAndre Aiden rebound. Second time. Against Paul George, that should be a DeAndre Aiden rebound. Too passive, didn't play with enough force, enough physicality in Game 5. Needs to change if they're going to win Game 6 tonight. Thanks for watching. Thumb up, subscribe, Scout with Brian.